What's up, my freedom-loving friend? My guess is if you love freedom, you also love the idea of protecting innocent children. That's one of the most important things on my heart. And as one of the things we like to do on this channel is call out the lies, hypocrisy, and corruption of tyrants, I've got a doozy for you today. Tyrannical Mr. Gavin Newsom in Florida signs a bill making California a sanctuary state for child gender surgeries. Now, there's the, the biggest concern of this, we'll get into a couple specifics, but the biggest concern of this is this bill prohibits parents from protecting their children from themselves, protecting children from decisions that are perhaps made from them being indoctrinated into an ideology. In other words, it handcuffs parents who want to stop their young child from getting gender affirming surgeries. California now says, oh, little Johnny, you wanna get part of your body chopped off? You wanna go on hormones that are gonna cause irreversible changes in your body? You wanna do that? The parents are like, no, 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 we don't want him to do that. California says, parents, sit down. We'll take custody of your child if you won't let them do this, and then we will let them do that. Brrr. This just absolutely blows my mind. So let's take a look at this. Governor Gavin Newsom signed a bill Thursday making California a sanctuary state for gender child surgery. The new law restricts California officials and health providers from cooperating with out-of-state attempts to stop a child from getting gender health services, which could include puberty blockers, cross-sex hormones, or gender surgery. Now, because I identify as a lawyer right now, what that breaks down to is there's a couple scenarios. Let's say an out-of-state child just frolics into California and says, hey, sign me up for some gender surgery and the the parents who are out of state come in and say no, no 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 we don't we don't want that to happen california says it's gonna happen so it, it restricts the rights of other states and people who are in those states the other scenario in this by the way i'll in a second get to the part that really pisses me off the most that i think is the biggest threat the the other part of that is say you've got divorced parents one of the parents is woke they're in california or they travel to california says let's sign johnny up for the old gender surgery it's profitable for you guys cool we're indoctrinated we'll buy into that but the out-of-state non-woke parent you normally something like that you'd have to have both parents like blessing it or cursing it as the case might be but the the out-of-state parent According to this bill, their California prevents them from stopping it. It prevents laws in other states from having any way to stop what I would consider the tragedy from happening to the child. But the part that pisses me off the most, uh, I alluded to it a second ago, the law authorizes a court to take temporary jurisdiction because a child has been unable to obtain gender affirming health care. So the idea that the state can take the child from the custody of the parents because the state says parents are basically abusing your child by not letting them get this life altering permanent surgery. So we'll take custody and we'll allow them. Now, I think any parents who are abusing their children, of course the state should be able to step in and save the child, but that's not what's going on here. It's the parents, they're not acting abuse onto the child, they're acting the opposite onto the child. They're trying to protect the child. But California, with his new bill, Newsom signed, says, no, nope, we'll take them. So not only is California not protecting the child, they are abusing the child under a law that says we're protecting the child from abusive parents. It's the most demented, demonic form of gaslighting there is. The parents want to protect the child, so cool. This bill says, we get to label the parents the abusers and us the protectors. When in fact, in this scenario, it's the parents that are the protectors and it's the state that is the abusers. Another interesting piece here. The bill, Senate Bill 107, was sponsored by State Senator Scott Weiner, which is a pretty appropriate name for this, who represents San Francisco. Here's where the plot gets more demonic. In 2020, Wiener sponsored another law Newsom signed that says adults who have 
oral or anal sex with a child 10 years younger than them may not have to register as sex offenders, leaving that decision to a judge. The law is meant to be black and white on that. No, any judge in their right mind would hopefully prosecute a person in the scenario as a sex offender. But the idea that they even open the possibility to, oh, you know, you're 18, having sexual relations with an eight-year-old, le even leaving that up to an opinion of a judge, like, well, maybe it's not, like, maybe it's not sex abuse, maybe it's not sexual, sex no, it is. So for me, it, it is very concerning. People need to know about this. A, a law that is trying to lighten the criminal persecution of people con committing one of the heinous acts there is, which is sexual abuse of a minor. It's, so why would two laws like this be getting passed in California? Why would Newsom sign them both? Both, I, of course, I don't buy into the virtue signaling gaslighting like well it's you know supportive and you know pedophiles are just really a marginalized community i don't i don't buy any of the rationalizations that they've shared speaking of rationalizations with a new one about news of making california a sanctuary state for gender surgeries for kids Here's something enraging that Newsom said. Parents know what's best for their kids, and they should be able to make decisions around the health of their children without fear. We must take a stand for parental choice, the governor added. What a lie. We must take a stand for parental choice when in fact this bill takes away parental choice and puts it in the hands of a state. If the parents say, yeah, my choice is I wanna protect my child from making a decision that will be a life altering, body altering, health altering, mental alter, uh, altering. The state says, yeah, parents, you, you can't make that choice. But here Newsom is doing the sleazy gaslighting. We must take a stand for parental choice. Now, there's a reason why you have to be 18 to go get a tattoo on your own. This is That's permanent. But to get something more permanent than a tattoo, more life altering than a tattoo, literally cutting parts of the body off, altering the hormonal system. Why, why a child, according to Newsom, is able to make that decision for themselves, but not a tattoo, can't buy alcohol. It's just mind boggling. And I remember a few years ago hearing these stories of people in, uh, I think they were like African countries, I forget the exact countries, but you'd hear stories of them where you, you know, people are outraged, like, dude, they're, they're mutilating the genitals of kids. They're, they're cutting the clitorises off little girls. That's horrendous. And indeed, it's very horrendous. Now I see some of the same people who were outraged about that supporting something that's more outrageous than that. Not only saying, dude, it's pretty cool to have children cut their genitals off if they want, but they're also saying the parents should have no right to stop that. There, there are so many things I thought about myself in the world when I was eight years old, 10 years old, 15 years old. And thank God I was somehow protected from myself. Like I wanted to be Batman when I was a kid. I'm like, dude, I want to be Batman forever. That's what I want to do. I'm very happy my parents didn't get me Batman reassignment surgery. So for me, this is, it really makes me sick. Uh, I personally don't know like what to do about it aside from raising awareness and doubling down on crusading what I stand for, which crusading for what I stand for, protecting children and freedom and doubling down on you know, my love for my child, my protection and preservation of his life. I, I, I think those are meaningful things to do. Yet, honestly, a part of me feels sort of helpless. I look at Newsom signing this bill, making California a sanctuary state, taking away parental rights of parents in California and parental rights of out-of-state parents when their children go to California. It's just outrageous. But the good news is we're waking up. We see what they're doing. People like you and I, we're seeing what they're doing and we know like, oh, we're not okay with this. Lastly, I get curious, why? Why would Newsom and the radical left not only 
be okay with this kind of thing happening to children, but why are they so for it? It's one thing to be okay with it, which I'm not, but it's one thing to be okay with it, but why are they so aggressively for it? I don't know. My best guess is there's some level of investment in destroying objective truth, people's connection with objective truth. Gender is a truthful thing. It's an objective reality. But if they can destroy the framework of gender, which they can't, they can only destroy people's awareness of it, then I think they, they make people very controllable. So if you can get people to disbelieve truth so much so that it's not just they're disbelieving it at a thought level, but now they're disbelieving truth at a physical reality level, then they're very controllable. That's how Marxism functions. And Marxism is the spearhead of communism. Part of Marxism is you destroy truth. You, you get people to believe two plus two equals five. You get people to believe we don't know what a woman is. You get people to believe that there's no biological difference between men and women. There's no difference. In fact, there's so much of a difference that we want kids to be able to have gender reassignment surgery because the differences matter, but also there's no differences. So, you know, men can get pregnant. A lot of destruction of truth happens with Marxism. Gavin Newsom, he's registered as a Democrat, but actions speak louder than words. His actions with all his lockdowns in California, draconian policies, taking rights away. He absolutely functions, functions as a communist. And communists use Marxism as a way of destroying truth so the people that buy into it are more controllable. This whole gender ideology thing, in my opinion, that's the best sense I can make of why they would be so strongly pushing this satanic crap on children. That's my best guess. But the best cure for communism is free thinking people who will not comply with anything that doesn't resonate in the sovereignty of their own heart and their own mind. So for that, I truly appreciate being on Team Freedom with you. Freedom is the cure for communism. So thank you for being on the team manufacturing the cure. Certainly my heart breaks to innocent children who have already and will be irre ir irreparably harmed by these ideologies and the demented monsters pushing them for their own power-hungry gains of control over people. My heart breaks for them. And we won't stop because we have more children to save, more lives to save in the sense of helping people retain their own sovereignty because that's what makes life so sweet. So, Communist Newsom, we see you. We see the bill you signed. It's uh, a crime against humanity, in my opinion. Uh, maybe one day you can be forgiven. You have to ask for forgiveness first. You have to admit your crimes. You have to admit your sins. So even if you do ask for forgiveness one day, I don't know if it's your deathbed or sooner than that, but even if you do ask for forgiveness and you are forgiven, your actions will never be forgotten. These are important points for us to learn from what some areas are allowing to happen to children and not just allowing, but forcing upon children. We have to always remember because these are important points in our human evolution because guess what? Collectively, we've allowed it to get to this point, but we're learning, we're growing, we're, we're recovering. And as we do that, we need to always remember so that we don't repeat these same mistakes ever again. With that said, let me know your thoughts in the comments below on Gavin Newsom signing a bill into law making California a gender surgery sanctuary state. Give me some barf emojis too down in the comments section. And with that said, till next time my friend, stay free.